Well, 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 you thought I forgot this series? I did not! That's hello, right, my gravy gravy? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the ISAR Productions channel where we are playing the Hoi 4 A to Z challenge, quote-unquote. If for some reason you're new to this series on this video, it's a series where I'm playing every single starting nation in Hoi 4. And so far, we've made it all the way through the A's, the B's, and now we're on the C. C for cut. Can you hit the like button? Sorry, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> hit the sub button. Too look, we're so close to 610,000 subscribers. Yes, today we are once again back in South America. I have done so many countries down here, but there's just <laughs> so many left. <laughs> Which is why today we're going to do something a little bit different. A little bit silly. A little bit preposterous. Uh -huh. Your padre when he walks in and sees you watching this video. You see, we've done a lot in Hoi 4. And back in the day, we used to do a lot of weird stuff. A lot of challenges and stuff like that. And uh, Chile wasn't really famous for its involvement in World War II. So instead, what we're going to be focusing on today is what exactly I can do without going to war. And I know what you're saying. That's going to be pretty boring. Well... Let me change your mind there. One little console command later, things might be getting a little bit interesting. Oh, what? Chile has got a lot of Chileans in it. Apparently the whole population has been mobilized. And you know what? Uh, we'll just go ahead and give ourselves every single bit of equipment in the damn world. So, I just found all this equipment down the side of the sofa. <laughs> but here's the thing, though. We're not allowed to go to war. If we go to war, it's ogre. So the reality is, if there was some sort of alien race that had suddenly landed and taken over all of Chile with their absurd knowledge from the future, exactly how could they influence the world without letting everyone know somehow that they are from the future aliens? Yeah, I'm sure they might be a little bit concerned where we got the tech for this from, but uh, hopefully the US isn't spying in our country and about to overthrow her. Wait a second, they always do that! And I am going to willingly do something I have never done before, which is actually go Liberty Ethos and probably down here. Now look, if, if any inspectors come from any League of Nations, we'll just say we're building these crappy old rifles. Just don't look in the back. Yeah, whenever I see a uh, South American country with a battleship, I know the British have been here and probably stole it midway through building and then sold it back to them. That's all right. Like, try and steal this one, Britain. Come get it. All right. Took us a while, but we are now actually communist, which is a pretty cool flag, actually. And this guy looks like he's sucking on a sow. Great. Now, with our communist new government, we can send volunteers and help change the world. And I sure can send quite a few volunteers. All right. We've also got our uh, air force in the, in the air. And um, I don't know where else it'd be than the, the damn air. And uh, it's definitely a little bit advanced. I'm sure the Japanese won't notice so. And I've set a mix of cool tanks, which um, hopefully they don't realize that I'm part of it. Now, usually I would just micro my units, but um, we're gonna see what happens if we just push. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, unsurprisingly. <laughs> I'm sure the uh, Japanese generals are all like, why is everyone speaking Spanish all of a sudden? All right, problem is we do have no oil though, so uh, America, please. Oh, well, it's um, safe to say the Japanese won't be having a fun time today. Uh, albeit this is going to be a fairly easy war for us to win with volunteers. Um, we don't have to worry about <laughs> anything too complicated. But uh, don't worry, because we won't just be sending volunteers to make things interesting. Because we're also looking to destabilize. There you go, the uh, World War II has kicked off, but we're not going to get involved just yet, because... Um, well, it'd be over in a second at the moment. Uh-oh, looks like there's a conflict to get involved with. Boy, he's quickly to let it grad. God, okay, you guys got a bit too deep there. <laughs> Let's come back, come back. So, that's the war we just started, just kicked out. Okay, here we go. I'd say we're here to help, but there is no opposition to our arrival. Uh, you thought the, uh, <laughs> the actual Winter War was bad? Well... There's a million dead Soviets right there. Oh, uh, they got the, they got the peace anyway, but it doesn't matter because I think we did 
enough damage to the Soviets there. So we still don't want to get too involved with World War II just yet, but we do want to secure everyone around them so they are in our correct ideology of communism. So we already flipped the Spanish, but now we need to flip the Turkey because they're um, getting a bit too buddy-buddy with people I don't want them to be too buddy-buddy with. Why is there no option to lend lease nuclear weapons paradox? You put that in the game. <laughs> Ooh, wait a second. I join this. Can I make steel spy master? I can. That's another little agent for me. Oh, looks like Japan just launched its uh, Strike South plan right here. I don't know how well that's going to go for them. Maybe I can give my hand. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Japan has strategic reasons to be hostile to the Chilean Socialist Republic. <laughs> Still having nightmares, are we, here? <laughs> Oh, looks like they uh, just invade the Soviet Union, who are very weak, probably, from the million dead men in Finland. But uh, I think I'm finally going to send some volunteers to the British. And I think I'll only be sending planes. There we go, just a few strategic bombers giving the Germans something to work on as we bomb all the infrastructure and airfields in this region. I'm going to need... More oil as usual though, so just give me it all. And our coup in Turkey, which I almost completely forgot about, is almost done. Well, that did not go to plan. They joined the common turn. Why would you do that? That's that's a terrible idea. Oh no. Um. All right. Well, they're dead. We'll go coup the Vichy France. Uh, and I feel like clicking on every single German province and seeing that infrastructure get blown to hell. Look at it. Oh, I don't even think I can coup the Vichy France because I think it counts them as in a civil war with normal France, which was a bit disappointing, but it doesn't matter because they're currently getting invaded by the Spanish who joined the Commandant. All right, maybe it's time I left this <laughs> little faction. All right. We're coming back, Spain. I mean, it's not exactly the coup I wanted, but you can kind of see where the point still stands here. So I wanted just to tack switch over to Germany to actually see what the situation was with their infrastructure, and considering the little amount of troops they have up here, I imagine it's quite bad. Oh my god. Um... Yeah, that's a lot of blown up stuff. A lot of blown up stuff. Yeah. It's not looking too good, really, is it? Uh, nothing like seeing the uh, Republican Communist Spanish push all the way past the Rhine <laughs> with the, the help of the Chileans. Oh, we have just bombed the Germans into submission. Um, th there's not been really any fights here. We've just been walking in unopposed, but I'm assuming all that bombing for the past three years has... Um, there's nothing left to bomb. I have quite literally made Dresden my bitch. Oh, peace conference, peace conference. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? What's... Uh-oh. What's, what's going on here? I mean, it's, um... It's an iron curtain, all right, but, um... I don't think you've you've shut the blinds all the way there because I can see right through it. Oh, and the the French Empire just exploded into a million different nations too. Are you? Yep, you're all in the Allies, so that was kind of pointless, really. Oh. Okay, things got a little bit out of hand over here, didn't they? Oh, hello, Kurdistan. That's a big bushy beard. All right. A little bit something weird going on in Belgium. Who are you? And. For some reason, this Belgium. I just noticed that Czechoslovakia isn't very Czech. It's just Slovakia. All right, so we're not done too yet. There's still some chaos we could cause, and Japan's still untouched. No one's. Is anyone going to deal with this? Do I have to deal? Do I need to come back and teach you this lesson again? Oh, World War Three happened. Oh my god, I don't have to worry about Japan anymore because China just did the Japanese subjugation thing and they accepted That's a cheap way out. Uh Yeah, also this thing right here. Yes, I, I gotta get involved in World War 3 then. All right, here's the problem with late game Hoi 4. The AI doesn't quite upgrade their airfields they, I'm oh, sorry, they don't upgrade their airfields. So a hell of a lot of overstacking tends to happen. Please fix this, Britain. Well, our uh, super heavy battleship, is that ready yet? Uh, it is ready. Wait, where is it? I already put it in here. It is. Look at that. It's big. We're, we're going to rename it, though. Yamath. Oh, wait. I can't do Yamato. That's uh, chili. Chil. Chilamato. There we go. All right. I've decided to help the British out. And wait, my volunteers are already here. 
Why are my volunteers here? Alright, guess I'm helping in the Caribbean. Oh, since I can't use ports, we're, we're getting off here the old-fashioned way. That's right. We're here to liberate you from the government we put in charge of you. Uh, yeah, we really don't have any allegiances. We're, we're just here for the chaos, that's about it. Oh, Chinese are starting up too, so, um, gonna intervene. I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna ignore Europe for a bit. I've got, I've got it on auto. You know, I'm never gonna run out of equipment, so you guys got it. Have fun. Oh, that is, uh, there's a lot of troops around here. You got it. You guys, you'll be fine. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you out, Guanzi Click, by giving you some advanced guided missiles because I clearly am never going to put them to use. So have fun. You just need a hell of a lot of convoys. Yeah, maybe I'll, <laughs> I'll give you a couple convoys too. <laughs> yeah, the interesting thing about the convoys is that I'm bringing the convoys on my convoys, and the convoys don't have the guided missiles on them. No, they've got to come back and collect those afterwards. Nothing makes sense over here. Oh my god, <laughs> they got the guided missiles at lunch. <laughs> What have I done? I've given them too much power. <laughs> oh my god, they're non-stop. Look at them go. They're going. They're bombing China. Oh, well, she everywhere I am. There's just guided missiles everywhere. They're even in Japan now. I, I have unleashed a monster. Wait, how's it going in Europe? Oh, it's going all right. We're in fr Oh, that's disgusting. It's 1947. This is what 1947 looks like in Hoi 4. It's horrible. Oh my god, look. I'm a virgin! So, uh, it's been a hard while. Uh, I now have another eight volunteers through the Americans pushing through the Soviet Union, and, um, it's, it's been a long time. I stopped pushing in China just because it wasn't fun. I just want to go out there and say that there have been so many damn casualties in this war. 26 million versus 12 million. Um, it's been a bit of a hectic one. Well, the war is over. We've pushed everyone to the brink of insanity, I think. And overall, nothing really makes sense. And as usual, Spain has never spared the peace deal. Uh, but yeah, this was a fun little different take on Hoi 4. As you can see, the Allies, um, <laughs> well, they ended up winning pretty much everything. And Chile, nothing changed. It's kind of like every Hoi game ever. Uh, but yeah, I don't want to make these videos too boring, so I do want to spice them up every now and again with just a little bit of, uh, you know, chaos sprinkled in there. And next video, we'll be moving to China, which will need no sprinkling of chaos at all, because that's, that's all it is. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe button down below, and I'll catch you all in the next Hoi 4 A to Z. Kazakhstan in too hard.